Hey strangers, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. So today what I will be sharing with you guys is what I got my best friends for Galentine's Day. So if you don't know what Galentine's Day is, it comes from Parks and Rec, I believe, and it's a day to celebrate your gal pals, your Galentines instead of Valentines. So kind of in the bros before hoes, fries before guys, things like that. Except I don't think bros before hoes is relevant for women, but anyway, what I'm going to do is share all of the things that I got. So if you are Anel or Jen, you should stop watching right now because I don't know if I'm going to see you in the next two days. So your Galentine's present will be ruined if you keep watching. But I just wanted to share with you guys some good ideas if you're stuck in an idea on what to get your gal pal for Valentine's Day or if you're not sure about how much to get or what to get, anything like that. So Galentine's for me is just like fun little gifts. It's nothing that's gonna be like too serious or something that's really over the top expensive. So I did go to like Target, Forever 21, Ikea, and the Dollar Tree to find the gifts. They don't have to be expensive. It's just kind of fun little, you know, trinkets and stuff that you can give your friends for Galentine's Day. So again, none of these were over the top expensive, but it is just kind of important to note that to give a gift, it's not about the value, but I think for Galentine's, it's always fun to get like a lot of little things to open and it makes it more fun when there's just like a lot of different things, in my opinion, especially for Galentine's Day. This video goes through a couple different things and where I found them. Hopefully they are available in your area, but we'll just jump right into the first item. So the first item I actually got at the dollar store, at the Dollar Tree, and I was surprised because they were licensed items. So this is what I'm gonna put all of their gifts in and wrap up with like tissue and paper and stuff like that. But the first thing was this, was this reusable bag. And this one says, let it all fang out. Anel loves Hotel Transylvania. And I just thought this was a cute reusable bag. And then on the sides, it's got like the little bats. I freaking love bats. And it was only a dollar. So I thought that this was cute. And then my friend Jen, she really likes Star Wars. And I loved this like retro pink and blue, you know, Star Wars writing with Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers. So this was also a licensed item that I found at Dollar Tree. They also had a couple other ones that just like weren't as relevant, but if you need a reusable bag that's, you know, good quality, head to your local Dollar Tree. The next two things I got were these Disney mystery ornaments. I did get these after Christmas, but they are the Disney princess. There are six total and you can get Moana, Rapunzel, Jasmine, Cinderella, Ariel, and Belle. So I got one for each of them and hopefully they like the princess that they opened. The next thing I also got at Target, which I thought was cool, it was a vanilla sugar body scrub and it you can use it like in a bath or in a shower, but I did like that it was ish, like in a single package, so if they didn't like it, I guess I wouldn't buy them like a whole container of it. But I did get one for myself and I really did like it, so I did wanna test it out before I gave it away, but these are TSA approved, sulfate free, paraben free, Philathlete free. So this is just something that they could throw in their bag at the gym or if they were traveling and wanted like something kind of on the go that was still luxurious, they could throw these in their bag and be all set. So I got these at Target. There's also a website that says prepyourskin.com. So you could also check there to see if they have any like single serving packets as well as something that would be in a bigger container. But I just thought these were really cute. So I'm throwing them in as well. So the next thing that I picked up was were these tissues and they're actually cats in spacesuits. And I just thought that these were cute. Again, just to throw in, to throw in their purse, throw in their gym bag, they'll be good, all set. They both love cats. So I figured that this would be like the perfect little thing. And I did find these at the Dollar Tree as well. So I thought that these were really cute. The next thing I found was actually at Ikea. And when I went back, they still had these. So these are two picture frames. So I am gonna print out a picture of me and them and put it in this frame. But I thought it was cute because it had the pink little band on it, making it very Galentine's, very Valentine's Day. And I guess if they ever didn't want the photo of us, I like the little print in the back as well. So this is another thing. I think these were like $2 each or something like that. So again, it wasn't very expensive, but I thought it was really cute and I liked the pink band on each of them. I also got a candle for them at Target. People say that candles are like not a personalized gift or something, but 
I love candles and if someone got me one, I wouldn't be upset about it. I know that there was an SNL sketch once about like, oh, you don't know what to give somebody, so just give them a candle and then they re-gift that candle and so on and so forth. But I thought that these smelled so fresh and so clean. And once also you were done with it, you got this really cute pink container. So I really like these. I think these were $5, that's what it says on the bottom. So I'm gonna go off that if my memory serves me correctly, but it's in the scent Fair Isle, and it was in like the Target dollar spot. If you know me or know anything about me, you know, and I've said this in a video before, that I need to have chapstick around me in a five foot radius, otherwise I'm gonna probably lose my mind. So I did get them each an EOS balm, and it comes in two flavors. It was Cherry and Bright and Coconut Snowflake. I do know that they sell them in a regular two pack or one pack, but I thought that these were really cute. Again, you could throw in your purse, throw in your work bag, your book bag, anything like that. And so I did really like that. It is the EOS. I've used their lip balms before. I think they're really high quality. And these are really easy to just pick up and throw into a Galentine's present. I also got Anel a pair of these socks from Forever 21 that says Meow Carones, like macarons or macaroons. I just thought that these were so cute and I had to pick them up. One of the things I got at Target, which I was really surprised were these makeup obsession eyeshadow palettes in the Be Passionate About shade. So I got one for each of them. And I thought the colors in them were really cute and just kind of cute for Valentine's Day too. There's some reds and purples, some neutrals in there, some glitter shades. They were $10, so I think they were on some sort of sale. I don't really remember, but I would run to your Target because I remember the price on these were really good. And I got these last week, so I would check to see if your Target has this, if this is something that you would be considering. I know that eyeshadow palettes can be really expensive, so the fact that this one was under $10, that's why I bought one for each of them. I wish they had more because I would have bought one for myself, but the two other ones that they had were actually cracked. So I was lucky to find these intact, untouched, all good to go. So that's always something you want to make sure that you check before buying an eyeshadow palette at like a drugstore or a retail store. But sometimes people think it's common sense, but there's not a lot of common sense out there. So I just wanted to give that little PSA. Then the last thing that I did get, I wanted to get them like a little bit of like a, a gift more unique to them. So for Jen, what I got her were these boba tea socks from Forever 21. So this one just says got boba. This is like a plain purple pair. Here's a pair with like all of the little different ones, a striped pair, and then a polka dotted pair. And I just thought these were super cute. She loves boba tea. So I thought that these were appropriate for her. And then for Nell, I saw this at Last Chance. If you don't know what Last Chance is, it's there's Nordstrom and then Nordstrom Rack and then Last Chance. So there's a Last Chance right by my work and sometimes I go there on my lunch and I saw this Steve Madden zip pouch, but it's a hot dog. And I feel like her and I just get a kick out of like hot dog, like merch and stuff. So I got this for her. It was really cute. This was, I don't remember the price. I did get it maybe a month ago, but I would always check like if there is like a discount retail store by you to check because again, this was Steve Madden. It's in perfect condition and I think it was originally like 30 or $40 and I think I got it for under 10. So this is something that is kind of more unique to my area. But again, always check to see if there is a last chance or a Nordstrom rack or like a TJ's Marshalls home goods that you could check to see if there are different discount stores around you. And that is all I got for my gal pals for Galentine's Day. I hope they like their gifts. I hope they didn't actually watch this video until after I got them their gifts. But if they did, that's okay. I guess there won't be a surprise, but you will still get the gifts if you watch the video. Again, just to stress the importance of Galentine's Day, it is nice to give little gifts to your friends throughout the year. Sometimes it's not for everyone. If you can't afford it, that's okay. But these were just some inexpensive ideas that you could purchase at your local, again, Dollar Tree, Target, Ikea, Forever 21, or local discount retail store. Let me know which item was your favorite in the description box below. And if you have any other ideas for Galentine's Day that maybe I didn't hit on or something that you do for your gal pals yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you like me or wanna see more of me in the future, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.